Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This may come a little bit of a surprise to some of you, but you know what? Well, I see a lot of skunks in a lot of poor boxes too. So what this means is a lot of the times I end up with uh, some single clips, like I find one find here or another find there, and a lot of skunks in between, and it's not always worthy of a video. Well, this time I took a lot of those clips, meshed them together. Hope you enjoy the video. Stay tuned. Two box hunt, ready to go. All right, up to that third one that I uh, kind of talked about. Um, nothing super obvious. I did a sound check in here. And this fourth one, it's hollow. It's going to be a magic coin. I kind of figured that's what it would be given it, it wasn't um, the weight of a missing coin in the roll. But you can clearly see the edge there. I'm going to see if I can uh, get, some, get this one open. Probably a Centavos inside. All right, good old magic cup, uh, magic coin uh, we opened with plastic cups, and it was Centavos, probably one of the older ones I've seen, 1973. This even sounds hollow to me, so it might even be uh, uh, a little bit different on the back side where they uh, put the two pieces together. But uh, clearly hollowed out, magic coin, there we go. We'll see if we can find some more stuff. Got one that comes up a little heavy here at 227. Uh, point four. I'm gonna go ahead and get into this one and see what we can find. Might be a little tough here since I'm doing it one-handed. All right, you can already start to see that white edge. Um, and at the weight that that's coming in, I'd expect this to be a 90. And it is. All right, I think we're gonna have a Kennedy here. I think I saw. 1964, 90 percenter. That is actually the last roll of that box. So we recap with a 90, a magic coin, and a 2011 uh, Nipsey. So not a little bad hunt there. Always great when you find some silver. All right, friends, I'm back. I did a little trip today. Picked up a couple of my usual boxes. Not in the normal box, obviously. 500 there. There's 500 in there. Uh, also got 370 uh wrapped here collection dump unfortunately the dates don't really look good i did weigh them just in case there's no surprises in there don't expect anything and then another 150 that are hand rolled those came off a coin machine so let's go ahead and dig right in we'll go ahead and start with these well they were what they said they were and that's a big thumbs down for me maxer doesn't like it either we're still a little discouraged. Got through that next 150 of uh, customer wrap rolls. Um, they'd been searched. There were no bicentennials in there whatsoever. So yeah, we're still a little sad. Hopefully we can pick things up here as we uh, dig into some bankrolls. Working through those bankrolls, out of the middle of this roll, we popped a proof, 1979S. All right, I've moved on to my next box and uh, about a third of the way through, maybe a quarter or so. Found my first silver. Good thing too, because it was kind of a slow start. We've got a 40%er. It's a 1967. Let's find some more. Hey friends, on to that uh, second box. And I missed it at first, this is the third one in. I'm almost at the tail end of my hunt here, so uh, kind of slim pickings when it comes down to it this trip, but. Uh, not complaining here about silver. Another one, 1967. Does have some uh, tarnish there on the edges. Still a great looking coin. Uh, I'd estimate about 10 rolls left of this one. Hopefully we find one more here before we get to the wrap up. Well, it was a lot of work, but we uh, did pick up a couple of silver. Two 40 percenters, both 1967. One proof that's a 79S. Uh, and also we got five. NIFCs. Hopeful for a little more, but thankful for what we got. We had $350 rolled off the coin machine, and we got one here. What year is it going to be? 1967. Okay, friends, two box hunt. I popped the seal on these and flipped them. And I have an ender. Can you see it? That one right there in fact it's really shiny almost a mirror like finish you can down, almost downright see me in there i wonder if that's uh something special either way we have an ender this is going to break 
I believe, an eight-box skunk streak that I have with silver coins. We have one here. Again, this is one of two. The other one is still uh, tucked away nicely. But we'll dig into that one right after this. Let's get to it. This is rule number three, and we've definitely got something going on here. You can clearly see that line that's tucked away in. Let's go ahead and see what it is. Ah, it looks like we got some newer style coins in here. So not a silver, but definitely a couple in here to take a look at. We got some 2019 NFCs. I do believe this is my first 2019 that I have gotten, uh, and we are in 2021. Definitely don't have any uh, 2020s, I know, and definitely not any 2021s. If I do have a 2019, I've only found them one time. So a couple of uh, neat finds I'll pull to the side, both 2019 peaks. All right, everyone, roll number 14 in the box. Uh, nothing but a couple of NIFC so far, but we're to that very shiny ender that we have. I'm going to go ahead and open this up, and we'll see what we have. All right, just one thing of note as we get in there, we have another uh, one of those really shiny edges. So more than likely, this is going to be an NIFC as well, not tucked away in there. But let's check out that silver. And I'll tell you what, kind of have that gold edge vibe going on. I wonder if this is an SMS. We'll treat it as such for now based on the finish and kind of that goldish vibe given off by the edges if you've uh, found those before. That's kind of a telltale sign of it, but uh, either way, we do have 40% silver, 1967. Let's go ahead and take a look at that uh, NIFC. I bet you it's a 2019, just like the others. It looks like it is from Philly. First box done, on to number two. I've opened and flipped. We got another ender. Of course, uh, the one ender in the last box was the only silver in the box, which no complaints there. But hopefully this one has a few friends. Let's go ahead and dig in. Roll number 18. We're on the ender. And that's going to be the only one in there, I believe. Uh, that one smack dab in the middle is just a dirty clad, it appears. Looks uh, rather interesting now on camera, I must admit. 1968 Denver. 40% first one of the box. Second ender of the night. Second silver of the night as well. I'll go ahead and keep going and see what else we can find. Got my help cleaning up the final box. We had two on the ends today, which uh, normally is a good sign that something else will follow. Not the case today, but that's all right. We're not complaining. Some really nice examples of some uh, uh, general strike coins. Who knows? Could be uh, men set. We also had a lot of NIFCs, a lot of 2019, something I haven't found a lot of. Um, we did pick up, it looks like uh, 19 of them. So that's a wrap on today's hunt. Uh, we have a quick two box hunt here. Entering uh, towards the back quarter of the box and this one fooled me. Um, I did notice it was a little discolored but I also saw the copper uh, picking out pretty good but it's a 40 percenter. 1969D. First of the box. Let's get some more. Seven rolls from the end. Popped it open. In the middle. Another 69D. Say there's more copper clashes on here, so this one almost fooled me, but I could kind of tell the difference a little bit better this time. Let's find one more. And I believe we got some old silver in here. Been ripping kind of quick since I haven't been finding much. Oh my goodness, my walker streak just continues. My last video, I pulled some walkers as well. This is awesome. 1944 out of Philadelphia. Always great to pull some walkers, yeah. Well, isn't that nice? We're on to box number two, and I'm on the first roll. Hopefully this sets the tone for what's to come. I'm sure you see it right there in the middle. Let's open her up. It's gonna be a 40. We got a 1967. Hopefully there's a lot more friends in the box. But again, no enders. Hopefully there's a lot on the inside, though. Well, it did not set the tone. Uh, I am, however, uh, approaching roll number 
what, 38? That's what I'm on. And I got a proof. I've already looked. Um, it wasn't screaming obvious proof on me, but it certainly is. It's a 1982S. All right, let's get back to it. Well, this has been the story of my boxes as of late, and no complaints, don't get me wrong, but these 4940 boxes have been producing a silver uh, on average per box, and then usually a stack of NICs just like that one. This one was definitely an oddball, so I don't think they were exactly sister boxes, but still, we kept up that average. Of course, a Walker, 44 Philly, and uh, 67 there, uh, 40 percenter, and uh, that second box also did have a proof, 1982S. All right, looks a little uh, odd, but uh, my bag broke, <laughs> so it did what it can. About 750 in loose half to search, and then 790 in rolled, mix of customer rolled yellows and some blacks. Believe these are coin machine rolls. This is definitely from a coin machine. You know. I like me some uh, coin machine halves. Let's go ahead and dig right in. Well, I'm in the first few handfuls in. That's all I've gone through. No silver so far, but I did uh, hear one that is a little odd. That's a thud. That's a magic coin. I'm going to see if I can't get it open for you. All right, we got this one open. It's uh, 20 centavos from 1966. You can actually see the Mexico City mint mark there underneath the 20. So that's what we're looking at. Let's get back in. All right, here's where I stand. Um, and we got something non-US in here. It could be silver, though. It does kind of have that uh, little look. I have not seen what it is yet. It's hiding right here. Okay. Uh, 25 pesos. And it's 2008. Definitely is not silver. But here we have it. Foreign in the lot. Surface find uh, looks to be religious metal of some sort, missing the top shank. All right, still a fair amount to go, and we do have a silver. It's right here. Kind of does have a coppery edge look to it. I'm going to be a 40, but uh, it's silver. It's in 1965. Let's get back to the hunt. Getting down to the nitty-gritty. We have a foreign... Uh, no additional silver cents. Uh, this one's going to be from the UK, I believe. 50 pence. Let's get back going. Probably about halfway through the black rolls. Uh, not silver, and this one is uh, painted, I believe. Yes. But we do have a very beat-up proof. Actually, I looked at this one well in advance. It does have some interesting toning on it, but it is a little beat up. 85S is what we've got here. Well, we're complete. Kind of a disappointing hunt. Only one silver in 1965 came out of those loose. We did pick up a couple of foreigns, uh, a magic coin, some dirties. I'm going to check a medallion, um, a proof out of the rolls in 85S. And a few NFCs uh, along the way. So I guess we did get a wide variety, but of course I'm always out for the goods of the goods of the goods. And uh, a lot of searching, kind of a letdown, but such is life. Uh, when you do uh, coin roll hunting, of course, if you do it as well, <laughs> you know the rigors of it. Well, it's definitely been a marathon hunt. I'm in the midst of a nearly full five box hunt, and I'm in the end stages of number three. I think I finally got a silver here. Let's rip it open. Gosh, feels good. Skunk boxes are no fun. 1969D. We'll get back to it. Final box of five. And I think we have one here. I would say that's a pretty good sign. Let's see what we got. Get out of here. 1967. Let's see if we can get uh, one of these 4940 boxes to produce more than one silver. That's what the run has been from them as of late. But we still have 33 rolls left. 
Well, like I mentioned, it's not always big scores. That was a hodgepodge from the start of 2021 up through, I believe, the second week of April. So we picked up a decent amount in that stretch in small little bursts. Of course, sometimes that's a bit discouraging. Uh, we all want to have that big score, and uh, sometimes it does happen. But oftentimes, that's what we're looking at, either skunks or one or two. I hope you enjoyed the video. Consider liking and subscribing. Good luck to you and your hunts. If that's your thing, stay healthy, stay safe, and we'll catch you back here next time.